In today's video, I am going to be talking about Rudy Gobert and his amazing defense and how he was able to win the Defensive Player of the Year this year. These are some skills and tactics that you can put into your game as well, so let's get down, let's check out Rudy Gobert. So I just really want to say this right away. First off, if you're a big man, you need to be quick, but at the same time, you need to be skillful and know how to block a shot. So many players will get caught when they're going up to block a shot, they will actually jump before this player even starts to go up for their shot sometimes, or even leaves the ground. What you want to do, especially if you're taller and you're faster than the player that you're defending, is waiting for him to go up off the ground so that now you know his trajectory where he is about to go and of course where that ball is going to be shot by the time this ball has left his hand Rudy Gobert just finally leaves the ground which will then allow him to block that shot perfectly now this is not something that if you're smaller or you're shorter you are able to do but if you're taller and you can time your jump to block the shot, you're going to be successful most of the time. Now this next clip is very good as well. So what we hear, here have is his ability to contest a shot. That offensive player gets his rebound and then he goes back up for that shot and of course Rudy Gobert is able to block that shot. So what we have at first is a player who's cutting down from the point down the middle of the key. Now something that Rudy Gobert knows and most likely we're seeing or hearing at least this player or this player somewhere on the court saying cutter middle cutter middle or whatever your team's sayings may be which then allows Rudy Gobert to put his hand down he may also be reading the eyes of that de of that player that he's defending as well or where the ball is going because he's able to get his hand down there to cut off that pass now that offensive player tries to post him up now when that offensive player goes up for a shot Rudy Gobert goes straight up he does not go into his player tries to block it at this point he is just merely contesting the shot going straight up into the air you're allowed to go straight up that then allows that player to miss his shot he gets his offensive rebound and because Rudy Gobert went straight up for his shot blocking attempt and rebound he's able to be in prime position to block that second shot so when you are in stuck in a location like this jump straight up every single time so that now maybe the second or third shot that this player is going to take you're going to be able to block now here we have Rudy Gobert that's helping over to stop that initial drive now when he does this he is straight up in the air this player is not about to shoot over top of that he's way too big of a player so what happens well this player is cutting now from the other side of the court he gets that pass off but because Rudy Gobert didn't jump up to basically block a fake shot he is able to take one step over and watch this when he takes that step over he hops hops into the jump because he knows this player is going to go up for a shot if Rudy Gobert can jump straight up he's going to be able to block that shot and that's what he does here but that hop is very important as well because that then loads your legs loads your quads so that now you'll have even more ability to jump up and block a shot and that's what this is all about we can really see it here he's able to hop hard onto his toes especially on this foot and then he's able to get up off the ground and contest that dunk when you have another tall player driving on you and you're tall yourself just try to keep up with them and then also time it so when that player picks up the ball you know he's got two steps generally speaking and when he takes his two steps you can go up keep your hand straight up above you that will allow you to not get a foul and you're also able to block that shot now at the same time if you're the offensive player and you're seeing that this defender is able to stay with you when you're driving towards the rim try to only take one step on your drives this will allow you to get that shot up however Rudy Gobert also was predicting that and we can see that as soon as Porzingis picks up that ball and takes his first step Rudy Gobert already has his hands behind him getting ready using his shoulders to jump higher you want to have that momentum using your lower back and shoulders to be able to block that shot and he's still able to block that shot even with that second step you want to be ready for everything 
And I can't stress being straight up blocking a shot more than I am right now. If you want to block shots, you don't want to be jumping into the body. Here, we see him jumping straight up and blocking Jokic's shot. That was a fantastic block. He did get a little bit of body, but we have to remember this is the playoffs. Generally speaking, even though this is not an official rule, hand is part of the ball, he does hit that hand, but again, by jumping straight up, you're showing to the referees that you're not trying to make contact, and if you can stay within your cylinder when you jump, so we see that he is jumping here. He has he owns this much land right here. Does he outstretch? Let's see. He owns that land. He owns that land. Does he outstretch from that land? Very little. His arm does only. He had no body contact. Technically speaking, he was jumping in his cylinder. He reached out, made contact with the ball first, and that allowed him to block that shot. I also really want to point this out, something that a lot of Toronto Raptors players could really get use of is that shot block attempt right there that we've seen and of course he does end up blocking this shot here but watch this this player goes up for that shot fake Rudy Gobert does go for the shot fake he did jump but so many Toronto Raptors players Boucher and many others will fly right by him which then would allow him to have an open lane but the reason why he is able to play defense the way he does is this hop was a very low hop even though it went he jumped really far in distance it was very low to the ground which allowed him to recover quick enough to be able to stick with this offensive player that player spins off and when he does he Rudy Gobert knows hey I got two steps to go I need to pivot left right and that will allow me to go up and block this shot. So if somebody wants to spin off of you and they pick up the ball, drop your left, right, bang, bang, and then block that shot very easy if you know the footwork. I hope that this video helps you be able to play defense better in the low post. If it does, hit that like button, subscribe, go check out all of the equipment that I use down in the description below, and I'll see you guys again next time.